Good morning. It's so good to be with you all. I'm Deacon Matt Hallback, a deacon of the Diocese of Des Moines, Iowa, and I'm also the Executive Director of Catechesis for William H. Sadler. Uh, for those who are new, this is our morning prayer series, which we began on Monday, and we will continue for the next three weeks, Monday through Friday, this time every day, 9 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Central. Uh, it's just about 10 minutes in length. Uh, it's a great time for us to connect uh, as faithful, to share our hearts, to share our concerns, our anxieties, our fears, and also our hopes. Um, the church, as in the people of God, is one of the most powerful forces in the world. And when we can mobilize that force, um, we are doing so much good in so many ways for so many people. So this is one little way in one little part of the world that we're just trying to reach out and connect and to be together uh, during this difficult time, which is slowly but painfully becoming a new norm. And uh, this series is just a wonderful uh, opportunity for this. You can see on the screen that uh, you can join us on our Facebook page, submit your prayer petitions. We'll give you a chance to do that live here in a moment, but you can do that at any time on facebook.com, sadly a religion. Also, uh, again, this begins the prayer series at 9 a.m. Eastern, and you can join uh, through Zoom or through our Facebook, sadly a religion page. Um, if you want to share uh, the recording or view the recording, uh, you can see the recordings of this live broadcast on Facebook.com, Sadly Religion, or YouTube.com, Sadly Religion. We also have other resources from Sadler to support your faith formation uh, and to just uh, our, our little way of trying to accompany you through each day. So here we have on this important feast day, the Annunciation of Mary, and we have this beautiful image for our reflection today of the angel Gabriel with Mary. What I'd like to do as we've begun, as our tr slow tradition to, to begin, uh, we're going to do the gospel reading for the day. Uh, so we'll begin like we do at Mass uh, with the sign of the cross and then the little gestures we make uh, during the gospel. And then I have a short reflection and then we'll move into our prayer petitions. So let us calm ourselves as difficult as it may be, and perhaps the way we calm ourselves is just to say, Jesus, help me, I surrender today to you. I surrender today to you. I'm not in control, you are. I surrender today to you. So my friends, we begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom will have no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know man? And the angel said to her in reply, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What a beautiful reflection for today with themes like, do not be afraid. This wonderful message from the angel of God, the angel Gabriel, is a message for all of us. Do not be afraid. What's needed is trust. What's needed is love. Love and trust cast out fear. It's such a powerful message, but such a difficult thing to believe in, <clears throat> such a difficult thing to surrender to, that word we used at the very beginning to quiet ourselves, I think runs through this entire episode here in the life of Mary. This young woman from uh, Nazareth must surrender herself 
you know, to what is happening in front of her, this revelation from God that she did not anticipate, could not prepare for, has a hard time understanding how it will be possible that God should have a son and have a son through her. And you have to imagine she's saying, why me? And the implied message from the angel Gabriel is obviously, why not you? And so we must apply that message to ourselves. When God says us, tells us to not be afraid, tells us that great things will happen in our lives when we surrender to him. It tells us, don't worry about the how-tos. Uh, this is not a do-it-yourself uh, kind of thing. This is let God do it for you. When we surrender to that, miracles can happen. Wonderful things can happen. Transformation can happen. And we all need that in, in this time of uh, just strange time, uh, and not a normal time, a time of a lot of unknowns and a lot of uncertainty. We want certainty. We want predictability. And that's the impulse. That's the natural inclination. But this gospel story today and the miraculous event that it, it describes reminds us and challenges us to surrender. And that it's not about tightening your grip on the steering wheel. It's about slowly loosening it and allowing God to drive. So this is the challenge of every Christian. It's the challenge of every religious believer. It's the challenge of every American today uh, to find that place in him or herself where they can start to let go of the life that they knew and understood and lived in and was predictable and could control to some extent and to begin to let go and to allow God uh, to, to allow God to help you into this new way of living. So what I'd like to do now as we do in every session is open up for uh, any live petitions you would like to use or suggest in the chat box. Again, one of the most powerful things we can do as, as the church is pray for one another. It's almost the only thing we can do these days uh, given the quarantine. So if you have any uh, prayer petitions now, please put them in the chat box before we read uh, the prayer petitions that are on the screen. Uh, we'd like to give you a chance to say what's on your heart. What you see on the screen already is what other people have put uh, just throughout their day. They've posted it on our Facebook page, Sadly Religion. But this is a chance for us and this live gathered community to go ahead and, and say what's on our heart. So go ahead in the chat box, we'll give you a minute and whatever pops up, I'll, I'll announce and we'll pray for. For my parents who I've been who I who haven't been able to see for a few weeks, we definitely pray for your parents and for all those who are lonely. For those who are lonely and feel God's presence, uh, that they feel God's presence in a real and comforting way. Thank you for that petition. I always throw a petition in there too. I would like to pray for those who are really struggling to let go of control right now, um, control of their lives, control of outcomes, and to surrender that control to the Lord who is so loving and so good, who has plans for our prosperity and not for our woe, as the psalmist tells us. We pray for them. For guidance and work, and for balance and family and life, it's such a great petition, thank you. For family, friends, and everyone. Thank you very much for these petitions live. Now we go to our screen and we're gonna take a few moments of silence as we read these together and, and ask the Lord to answer them.
Thank you. We offer all these prayers to you, Lord Jesus, and all the prayers that we keep in the silence of our hearts. We know that you'll answer them according to your gracious will and in your time. Amen. Once again, uh, thank you for being here for this morning prayer session. Please uh, share it out with your friends on your Facebook pages, tweet it. Um, this is a wonderful opportunity for church to gather to remember that we are still connected. We're a body of Christ. As you can see on your screen, you can submit petitions to facebook.com, sadly religion. Again, we start at 9 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Central. Also, if you want to see the videos of these recordings or share them out with friends and family, you can do so at facebook.com, sadly religion, or on youtube.com, sadly religion. For other resources supporting faith formation and our little way of accompanying you here at Sadly, please visit sadlyreligion.com online learning. And let's finally close with a blessing. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all this morning. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. God bless you. Goodbye.